Hey guys, I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm here to teach you everything I know about the backhand, from all the cues, from the footwork, to the shoulder turn, to the racket up, to the firm wrist, contact point, and recovery. And I hope that this is gonna make your backhand as good as mine. My first cue is gonna be the steps in my shoulder turn. So when I see the ball, I automatically open and go right, and that should turn your shoulders to be level. I'm trying to step in as much as I can. Sometimes you like to go a little bit over to your left foot because you don't want to be way too open. So if you're hitting it outside step and it's open, it's going to be so much harder to go through the ball. You're putting most of it onto your left leg. It's going to be a lot more hands. If you want to hit the ball down the line, it's going to take an incredible amount of strength in your core. Opposed to turning, you can have a lot more options of going down the line, cross court wherever you want. Also, it's a little bit more simple and you can take out the hands, which I think in any tight situation, very, very important to take that out as much as you can. So in a high pressure situation, you don't want to rely on your hands, you want to rely on your body and hopefully your talent to <laughs> put, that, put that ball right exactly where you want it. My take back on my backhand, I would say, is a little bit unconventional. Most guys you'll see will keep it low, just like here. I like to take it up high, because I believe in a little bit of a loop for timing. So I go up a little bit high, that's what allows me to keep that racket head up, so you're not using too much hands, and you can automatically start with firm wrist. So when I go up, I like to use my elbow and cock it back a little bit. So then by the time it's coming in and I have to straighten it out, it's at the perfect contact point and then I can use my body to go through. Sometimes on some backhands, a lot of people like to finish all the way. I actually like to stop it almost 75% way and then let that ball kind of drive. A little bit tougher to hit a ball pretty flat going all the way through. A little bit easier to go back, keep it sideways and really get that thing going. So the next part is the contact point. I like to make my contacts a little bit closer to my body. So maybe a foot out in front of your foot, maybe even less. So you're not in full extension when you're making contact. Then you like to go through. It's kind of the same thing when someone taught me is when a boxer is boxing and he's throwing a punch, he's not gonna throw the most effective punch when he's at full length. He's gonna make his contact right here and then go all the way through it and use his body and really knock the guy out. So that's kind of the same analogy I like to use when I'm hitting my backhand as well to knock it out. <laughs>